I'm going to do a little video. This is Alan Castleman, Hickman Realty. Do a little video about safe searches. Um, I don't think it's real hard to save searches, um, but I'm going to show you how it works just in case you haven't done it. Uh, I put a widget on my, um, on my dashboard with my safe searches. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's just a quick way of getting to them, and I can even edit them right here. Uh, it'll just launch the, the quick search, uh, and I can edit them. But still, it's just a quick way of doing it. Uh, or you can do the same thing. I've really got it right here, too, safe searches. Uh, obviously, if you do menu and you go down to save searches and you put a star, it'll put it right there. So all of my safe searches are a click away here or if I'm on my dashboard, a click away here. Um, so how do I save them? I'm gonna just start a search. Let's just do a random search. I'm gonna do, uh, I want Madison County. Whoa, 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 whoa. Madison County and uh, I'm, I'm county. I'm looking for county. My, I got a buyer that wants county um, and uh, their big deal is some land. Um, so I'm not gonna choose subdivision name. If, if it's in the county uh, with some land, it's not going to be new constructions. Um, but it does, I need to have a certain number of bedrooms. They want four bedrooms. Um, let's see what happened here. Uh, bathrooms, uh, you know, they got to have uh, three full baths. I got 90 so far uh, in Madison County. But let's uh let's take this down quite a notch here i'm going to go to lot size remember my buyer said i want some lot i want some acreage uh i want a minimum of two acres i went to 14. man okay there's quite a bit and you can see where they are on the map which is really cool um but they don't want too much acreage to take care of they're not farmers so i'm going to do 10 as the top and uh, let me click on this i'm gonna try something in the range of yeah nine uh, so these if you click on these little buttons right here by the way you can include or exclude the numbers below so in other words uh between two and ten right or i could say no no one would ever ask this but no i don't want anything between two and ten well you can click on it and it will eliminate all the listings that have between two and ten now Again, bad example, you wouldn't do it here, but you might do it with, um, what would you do that with? Uh, two car garage, right? I, I don't, I'm just making something up, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna click it and go back to, and there's also a range. The range is really the same thing. There's nine, it's the same thing as between, yeah, nine. Okay, so I have got nine properties to show this client uh, and Hey, the client said, uh, I only want, uh, uh, acreage. There's one in the middle of town. That's interesting. I wonder what that is. Well, by the way, if you I don't know if you knew that or not, but you can actually go to the dot on the map without actually having to like click your results. You can just put your mouse on it and select it and it'll give you a quick preview of it. Okay. So I can see what this is and see, I can more info and it'll, it'll launch the listing. Um, anyway, um, so let's just say, just cause I want to show you something else, the map tool, I'm going to go over here. These, these are your map tools. They said, Hey, we, we really want to be South of the interstate. Okay. Um, I'm going to do North of the interstate. All right. So I'm, I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to say here, here's the interstate. I can even, you know, try to get real precise with this and, and, uh, go up, go over and go that back down and double click where I started. Um, I messed that up. So let's try it again. <laughs> All right. I think I crossed, crossed the, the, the lines. What is that movie? Oh, Ghostbusters. You can't, you can't cross the, cross the, the, the path of the lines. All right. So here they are. I've got six that are in the North uh, area that I, I just drew. Okay. So I'm going to view that. And I look at this and I say, hey, this is it. This is, this is what my client's looking for. Um, and I go up here and I share it or, you know, with the, with the permalink, uh, I text it to them or I email them. 
or I print it, whatever I want to do. But before I get done with this, I go, you know what? This has been asked of me. The same request has been asked a dozen times in the last 12 months. I'm going to save this. I'll just click save. And I can click save search right here. And it says, what do you want to call it? First of all, is it new or existing? If it's existing, I believe, yeah, you can modify one. But I don't want to modify. I want to create a new one. So I'm going to name this. I'm going to say, what, what was this? It was North Madison. Um, and the reason I didn't say North Jackson is because I went out into the country too. So North Madison, um, I didn't even put a price, did I? I just did four, three, and I did two to 10 acre. And I could write a description if I wanted to so that I really know, you know, what, what my abbreviations mean. I, I kind of tend to abbreviate stuff the same way, so I, I'll know what this means. But if you want to, you can list out every little detail of what, what you're doing. Now, here's the thing. At this point, it's got no contact associated with it. And all I can do is just click save and it's done. I just saved my search. It's that simple. Just name it and save the search, all right? But if I know that the client is in there, I can click existing, and then I can enter the name of the client. I'll pick on my wife a little bit, all right? I've got my wife in there. She's the one that called and wanted this. So I'm gonna click um, existing. I can click save, all right? Now, all it did was put this save search in my save searches, and put it under her contact. So now I know this is something that she likes. It's not going to send her anything, though. I could click Save and Add Subscription. If I do that, then it's going to actually start emailing her. It's going to email her this list, as well as anything that comes up in the future that falls within the same search criteria. Okay? Um, that is where you get into contact management. That's a little farther than what we're going to do in this. Um, if it wasn't my wife and it was John Smith uh, and I wanted to do the same thing, I can actually create John Smith and John Smith's email and click save or save and subscribe. All right. I'm not going to do that. I told you we were just going to look at safe searches. So I've got my search. I want to save it. I've already remember a minute ago, I said I already shared it and emailed it with the client. Um, and I just want to save this for my future use. I'm just going to select new. I'm going to name it. And I'm going to select no contact. And I'm going to click save. Done. I mean, it's that simple. So create the search. Click save. Save search. Name it. Click save. You're done. Now, if I go back to my homepage or my dashboard, and I go to, where did my safe searches go? Oh, I'm on the wrong one, sorry. Um, I have multiple dashboards, but anyway. Um, so I'm back to my, my dashboard that I like, and here's my safe searches. If I roll down, I should see, there it is, North Madison, 4-3, 2 to 10 acres. At any time somebody calls me, and ask that same question. All I got to do is click on this, click it. It launches that search and gives me the results. There it is. If I want to edit the search, the next customer says, hey, but I got to have, uh, I got to have three car garage. Okay, I can go. So just launch it, click edit search. I go over here and I'm going to say, I got to have three car garages. Notice it went from six to three. I'm going to view it. There's my new search. Okay. So that's how you save searches. You can save as many as you want, um, and uh, they can be all viewed here and edited here, or they can all be viewed on your dashboard if you have the widget. If you want to add the widget, just like we've done before, you're on your dashboard, the one that you like using. Uh, click Customize, Add Widget, and I believe it's going to come up list a no, search right here save searches it's telling me i've already got one i can add another widget if i want to and i can create maybe some commercial save searches under that widget just to keep things different okay uh 
But anyway, right now I've just got one safe search on there and they're all right here.